Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys are aware, earlier on in the week, Rockstar Games released possibly the biggest DLC yet into GTA 5 Online. This thing included brand new heists, clothing, masks, Mark II weapons, properties, plus much, much more. And of course, with all of this content being added to the game, there is a bunch of tips, tricks, and secrets that you guys should know that could help you guys out or you may find useful in the future. So what I thought I'd go ahead and do is put together 15 tips, tricks, and secrets to do with the new doomsday heist dlc that should hopefully help you guys out in the future so if you guys do want to learn anything new do be sure to drop a like down below and also feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado and let's get into the video okay so getting into the very first new feature to do with this new dlc and did you guys know i'm pretty sure all of you guys know when you get a wanted level as you can see on screen right now you can simply just call lester to remove your wanted level now a lot of people may also not know it does cost you guys 200 dollars per star that you have wanted level so as you guys can see i have three stars that will equivalent to 600 dollars if i had one star it'd be 200 dollars and five stars would be a thousand dollars every single time now, did you guys know once you complete the final heist all of the calls to lester to remove your wanted level will now be free yes 100 percent free so it doesn't matter how many wanted star levels you have every single time you call lester this will be 100 percent free and effectively why this is is because the final heist you guys will be working for the government and of course the police are part of the government so effectively by you doing work for the government they're giving you guys a favor of removing wanted level for free every single time which is a massive benefactor so i'll definitely go ahead and complete the final heist now speaking about wanted levels did you guys also know just like the bunker and the hangar you guys will be able to enter the new properties the facilities when you have a wanted level even if you're directly in the sight of the cops so it doesn't matter if they're directly in front of you directly behind you shooting right at you it won't make a difference you can walk straight into your facility and remove your wanted level instantly as you guys can see on screen i had a three star wanted level right outside my bunker in sight of the cops and i'm able to lose them straight away by entering my facility and did you guys know this also does work with the brand new avenger which is effectively the aircraft mobile operations center so as you guys can see on screen i do have a wanted level i'm standing right next to my avenger and as soon as i enter it whether you enter from the cockpit or the back end it won't make a difference every single time you do it you'll lose a wanted level straight away so as you guys can see i'm directly in the sight of the cops i have a three star wanted level i enter my avenger and as soon as i get in my avenger all i have to do is press right on the d-pad to get in the back and my wanted level disappears as quick as that so a very useful tip to know in case you guys are doing some free run work and you need to lose the cops very quickly and in many cases this could be a lot quicker than actually pulling up your phone and giving Lester a call to remove your wanted level I know I've done that a ton of times and the cops have just ended up shooting me with a shotgun to the face by the time I connect to Lester's phone call and speaking about Avengers did you guys know that if you guys own any of these brand new weaponized vehicles or any of the new special vehicles you don't actually need the Avenger to customize them if you guys own the MOC which is a lot more cheaper than the Avenger you guys can also customize all of these brand new vehicles in the back of your MOC so there really is no point of buying the Avenger if you guys haven't got the money lying around I do think I'm right in saying that the MOC is nearly half the price of the Avenger so like I said unless you guys have got millions upon millions lying around then just use your MOC to customize these vehicles while you can however saying that if you guys do have the money to afford the Avenger I would definitely go ahead and invest in one it's definitely an awesome aircraft with a ton of cool features first of all you can fly in VTOL mode so you can hover above a certain area or you can switch the wings so you can fly in normal mode and the thing does have pretty decent speed to it and secondly you guys will be able to fit up to 30 players inside of this thing yes you heard correct an entire lobby can fit in the back of the Avenger although I can't ever see a situation where you'll need to fit 30 players in the back of here I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do play in bigger groups of players and you have been limited in the past of like seat and space that you might have to call out two vehicles whereas you guys can call out this one vehicle and I'm pretty sure you can fit your entire crew and some extra randoms in here with no stress however hands down by far the best feature to do with this new Avenger for me 
is the fact that it comes with an autopilot mode. Yes, you guys heard correct, an autopilot mode. And to do so, all you have to do is pull up the interaction menu, go down to Avenger Services, and you just want to engage autopilot. And then from here, it will become stagnant. It will sit in that position that you've engaged it in. So you guys can dismount from the driver's seat, go into the back of the Avenger. You can mount a turret if you guys were looking to attack some online players or do some free run work. It could be done completely solo. So as you guys can see, I'm able to walk around in the back of my Avenger while it's engaged in autopilot. I can mount a turret and it's completely steady. This thing doesn't shake all around the place. You can drive it up as high as you want. So if you want to maybe get away from the home and launchers on the ground, you can go ahead and do so. But hands down, by far the best feature to do with this Avenger in my personal opinion. Now, all you GTA veterans that have been playing the game since the release, you will know that it's nothing new to get vehicles in the back of aircrafts. There's actually been two aircrafts aircrafts in the game since the release that we could do so one being the cargo bob and the second one being the titan now for some dumb reason you could open these back on last gen or 360 and ps3 however for some reason when rockstar games released the next gen versions they took away this ability now as you guys can see i currently own a cargo bob however i have to call up pegasus to call it in so when i call up pegasus as you guys can see i go down to vehicle vehicle doors and it gives me no option to open the door well after this latest patch you can actually open the doors for the cargo bob and other aircrafts like that and i know a lot of you guys may be confused on why it's not giving you guys the option like you can see on screen because this was recorded today as you guys can see and i cannot open the back of my cargo bob so to simply do so all you have to do is make the cargo bob a personal vehicle and you can easily do so by just driving it into a hangar and you guys should notice once you've done so you will get a message in the top right just saying this Pegasus vehicle has now been converted into a personal vehicle. So you guys can also go ahead and put a paint job on it as you guys can see. Just make it look a little bit more nicer. I can't believe I spent a million dollars on this goddamn crappy cargo bob. So at least now we can open the doors as you guys can see. Pull up my interaction menu, go down to vehicle doors and bang. It's easy as that. And you can even walk inside of it if you guys aren't aware. A little while back I did cover a glitch on how to open cargo bobs even if it wasn't your personal vehicle. However the one down side to that is you couldn't walk in the back although you opened it it would just deny you now it is quite small to fit cars in here but you can easily pull off motorbikes and park them in the back of here and pull off some insane stunts however moving on to the next feature that definitely is worth knowing and this is to do with inside the brand new facilities just like your offices or your bunkers you guys can also purchase upgrades to this thing and the investments that you can make into this property are 10 times more better than previous ones for example if you guys do go ahead and purchase the weapon room it will give you guys free ammo every single time you do enter your facility as you guys can see for every class of weapon including sticky bombs i'm pretty sure like sticky bombs are 500 dollars each so that's a major saving that you guys will be making over time but not only that you can also invite your friends into your facility and they can also pick up this ammo however the best feature about this room for me is the ability to call in strike teams on random online players yes you guys heard correct strike teams on random players and the level one strike team is actually free it will cost you guys nothing level two will only be two thousand and level three will only cost you guys five thousand dollars and the best thing about this is once you call in the strike team you can go ahead and observe the target to see them getting attacked by your strike team so a little tip i'm going to give you guys to increase your success rate of calling in strike teams is to simply press start before you do so just do as i do on screen and see who's actually a FK, like who's just standing still and nine times out of ten the strike team will just head straight over there and pop them in the face so it's definitely a cool little feature if you guys are bored and want to use the past time or maybe you just got a random online warrior running around attacking everyone you can just give them a nice little surprise attack with the strike team now coming in for the next tip and this is going to be a massive buyer beware tip and this is for you guys that maybe have already bought a facility or you're thinking about buying a facility now as you guys probably would think the most expensive facility in the game is the best one when in actual fact this is by far the worst facility that all of you guys can buy now it looks like it's the closest to the city which you guys are probably thinking yes you can do your work very quickly 
currently, especially the highest prep missions where you gotta go back and forth in the city. When in actual fact, like I said, this is the worst one that you guys should buy. Firstly, you should always buy one of these that are right next to an airfield where you've got lots of space to land. So I would definitely suggest you guys go ahead and buy the Grand Sonora facility, the Sandy Shores facility, or the Route 68 facility. And as you guys can see by the runway leading up to the most expensive facility, this is not what you guys want to be going through with like a Turner Bob or an Avenger trying to land it in this area, or even any big vehicle for that matter. Just give you guys a punch of stress trying to get it back and forth. And in actual fact, these facilities facilities are like the apartment so if you guys have already gone and bought the most expensive one you can cash some money back in and go ahead and get a cheaper one which i would definitely suggest you guys go ahead and do but if you guys have held off from buying one of these yet then go ahead and buy a cheaper one next to a run field because you could end up saving like i said up to a million dollars which is no little fee nonetheless that's going to do it for me guys 10 plus tips tricks and features to do with the new doomsday heist dlc hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you're still watching to this point leave a comment down below and say lester is a molester just so i know that you guys have watched at this point and do be sure to drop a like down below and feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video